The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be reviewing this. This is G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes. Now, it's pretty exciting because this is the first time we've gotten G.I. Joe figures since 2016 with the 50th anniversary line. I think it ended in 2016. And man, it's been four years of no normal G.I. Joe retail release. So we have here a new line, a new series called the Classified Series, where they are in the six inch scale. And what I got here is the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Snake Eyes, which is first figure to kick off this new line of what I hope would be future Joes. So let's take a closer look here at the box. It's pretty big, as you can see. There's a slip cover on there with some really nice art. If it shows up, ages four and up. Here's the back of the box. Very cool. Let's take out the slip cover. Very, a nice premium design. Slip cover up here. And we get to the actual box. You can see over here. Nice uh, red foil stamping here. You can see the, the artwork. Very cool. Again, very premium feel. It's embossed, as you can see. All right, let's take this out. Man, this... I'm really excited for this line. I hope there is success in this Joe line. It's been so long since we had Joes, and I'm hoping that this kicks off G.I. Joe as a property. Oop. Take this, put it on the side, and continues to give us some new figures and keeps keep basically keep the property alive. Okay, oh, yeah. ooh, check this out. I, they might have mispacked mines because they gave me two pieces of art. Looks like to be exactly the same. It's like a sketch drawing of what is on the box and the slipcover. You can see here the sword. Looks like a wolf. Uh, the symbols. Very cool. Hey, let's put this aside. A little nice surprise getting two pieces of art. And let's take a look at the contents. Wow. Very nice. I'm going to angle the camera a bit.
on this weapons rack. A close up of the weapons rack. Now with Snake Eyes you get the following accessories. You get this big backpack. Nice detail here. And paint apps. You get a sheath for his sword. Again, very nice clean paint apps and details on it. You get his sword. Let's see if we can put the sword in. Yeah, fits nicely. His iconic Uzi. Little knife. It's like he has his sidearm, his pistol with a suppressor. I'm assuming the suppressor, yeah, the suppressor is for this pistol. He also comes with two extra hands. This one with a little throwing star on it. Again, nicely painted. And this other hand, which kind of looks like a little karate chop pose. There you go. Look at that detail. I'm going to zoom in a bit. That is very nice. And last but not least, Snake Eyes himself. Let's take a closer look at him. I think he looks fantastic. Look at all that detail. I'm He's not pure black like he was in the uh, earlier or the original uh, G.I. Joe series. But um, I think it matches very well. It's like a little dark brown here. And you have like some of the straps in brown, which is pretty cool. Love the detail of the grenades. And that has multiple paint apps. If you go here, you can see his symbol, his clan symbol there. Take a closer look at the head. Very cool. Nice head sculpt. I would say it's more stylized or modernized from the original. It's just all the detail on this figure it makes it look really nice. I really hope this line is successful. Because with Snake Eyes, I, I gotta say it's, it's um, coming out with a really awesome start. I'm going to try to put his accessories on. From what I remember is you could basically put everything on him, I guess, except for the hands. So starting with the backpack. Backpack will go here. Looks like this is the place for his sword. His dagger has a little sheath. His pistol has a holster. And it looks like a... A holder for the suppressor as well. Very cool. And I guess you can just carry his Uzi. And there you have it. Man, this guy looks awesome. Yeah, I'm getting a little too excited for this figure. I'm, I have no idea how excited I am to see G.I. Joe back in action figure form. And I'm pretty happy, you know, I, I, I really like the three and three quarter inch scale, but I'm pretty happy they're doing this scale to give us more, as some has said, it's like a masterpiece style G.I. Joe, where they can go with all the detail they want, all the articulation. Very cool looking. Okay, now that we've got everything on him. I'm going to check out the accessories. Oh, most of the accessories. Let's check out the articulation on this guy first. We'll just leave that on. I mean, off. Well, actually, before we do articulation, let's try his alternate hands. So he has two of them. So they just pop out like so. Similar to Marvel Legends. And pop them back in. Oh, there we go. It went. Looks like there was just a little give, but there you go. Very cool. Now that we got that out of the way, let's take a look at the articulation of this figure. The head is on a ball. A lot of articulation, like he can look up, look down. I wonder if he can do... Looks like he has a little 
joint up here. It looks like he can tilt his head down this low and that far up and 360. The arm rotate, goes up at the shoulder. Does he have, he doesn't seem to have, I think he does, unless it's really tight. He does have a little um, articulation here on the chest to bring the arm in, I guess. But mine's is really tight. This one goes in a little bit more. You can see that. Not a lot, just a bit on mine, unless it's just super tight. He can rotate at the bicep. You can bend two points of articulation here at the elbow, which is cool. And then rotate here and articulation on the hand. Very neat. The legs can do the splits. He does have thigh swivel, he can kick. Kick this far back, not too much because of the butt. Two points of articulation on the knee, which is cool. And on the lower part of the leg, you can rotate 360, has ankle tilt, and can go up, go back. Pretty cool. Like it a lot. Okay. And for the waist, he can rotate 360. He does have a very cool ab crunch. He is very articulated. Now, one thing I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in is I was actually hoping he'd had the same amount of articulation as the Fortnite figures, where the Fortnite figures had toe articulation as well. But um, for the most part, he seems to have just as much articulation as a regular Marvel Legends figure, which is not bad. I mean, it's very good still but um was kind of hoping it went a little more than that and i know the fortnite figures had a i believe like posable fingers or like the lower fingers were posable but all in all very nice very articulated this part is a little tight i don't know if uh, i guess so it's, it, it's getting loose so he does can bring his uh, shoulders in like that but I, I guess mine's is just really tight oh no, very cool i like it a lot i i i'm so glad hasbro is making gi joes again oh one thing he does have a little peg on the bottom so if you want to use your standard action figure base you can to kind of you know make him do all kinds of cool stuff so, get that in focus. Hey, uh, let me get him all geared up and give my final thoughts. All in all, I'm very happy with Hasbro's first six inch offering uh, for G.I. Joe's in, in this scale. And I, I gotta say, I'm although I wanted a three and three quarter inch line, I, I'm really glad they went with six inch for a more, as Transformers fans like to call it, masterpiece style of a figure. You can get a lot more detail and this figure has a lot of nice detail and paint apps. You get a lot more articulation and um, if this is what is uh, is what to come with G.I. Joe, I can't wait for the other figures. I've got the rest of them already pre-ordered. Hope we get a lot more. I hope we at least get all the main core characters and I hope this line lives on. I hope G.I. Joe is um, new life is, is breathed into the property. New fans come along the way and that uh, G.I. Joe will go on for another 50 years. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.